What's up guys, today we're gonna to be breaking down a video of a Giga Chat going on a speed date with 10 girls. This is gonna be juicy and parts of this may surprise you. All right, so the title of this video is called One Cocky Guy Speed Dates 10 Girls in 30 Seconds. It's a channel called Teaching Men's Fashion, which I've never heard of until people start sending me this video. I think it's gonna be very interesting and make sure you guys watch until the very end because I was honestly a little bit surprised by his choice of girls. I think this might be quite interesting for a lot of you. Let's get into it. 26 years old, born and raised in Miami, Florida. I'm a full-time model, also Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's my hobby and I'm about to take on a challenge right now to go on a date with 10 girls. Super nervous, but I'm also excited because I might find a beautiful girl. All the black pillars have massive boners right now. So let's see. My dude, you're already attractive. You already got it like that. So this is like a practice run for you guys. Help the boys out and show us how you flirt. Show us how you engage with the girl and see if you can find the love of your life out of these 10 chicks. Hello, how are, how are you? you? I'm Shelby. Nice Damn, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. All right. Um, so what's a typical first date with you like? Are you more of a picky? This trick is hot. Simple. You like to have a nice simple date. It's simple. I'm not picky, baby. <laughs> That's, good. That's, good. That's good. Um, When you go out, you like to dress up nice or are you more laid back? So I'm usually pretty classy, elegant, classy. yeah. That's, that's nice, that's nice, that's good, that's good to have. Are you a fan of Italian food? Yes, I like, am. I'm usually pretty classy. I mean, while she's sitting there with her, like, her tits out, her ass out, she's like, yeah, I'm a classy type of girl. Pasta. Okay, I will go okay, ham so on the pasta. We can eat, we can eat, we can eat together. All right, so you've both made over 45 seconds. Um, now I'm gonna throw a question that you both have to answer. Okay. Okay, so, um, what's the craziest thing you've done sexually? I got stuck in a park in the middle of the night, and it was actually, <laughs> Overseas in Milan. I've never been to Milan before, so the park's closed in Milan. So oh if you're in Milan, the park's closed. They actually gate the parks in, so be careful. <laughs> oh my god. Um, the craziest thing I've ever done during sex, well, I'm pretty open minded, so um, the probably craziest thing I've done is how to force them. <laughs> Yeah. I would definitely give him a 10. Uh, he needs to ask, was it uh, with uh, three guys or three girls, right? Because it's definitely going to be a gangbang. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think like overall, he's just basically running like good looking normie game where he's just asking normal questions, right? He's not fucking up, but he's not doing anything interesting. The one thing I will point out that's poor about him is his body language. He's very much leaning in, right? And that's not ideal. You kind of want to be leaning back. But again, the dynamic is set in his favor so much that it doesn't even really matter. Um, he's very handsome and he has like all the features I like. Nice smile. The appearance was very nice. She knew how to dress a little better than the average girl, you know? She had her nails done, her makeup done, so that's a good sign. So she's gonna go ahead and get a solid eight. Let's go see who's next. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Amalia. Nice to meet you. Darren? Da Daniel. 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 Nice, Daniel. To Daniel. To nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. You have awesome eyes. Thank you so They're much. Really, like, intense. Thank you so much. But in a good way. So, are you the insecure type? I don't think so. I don't know why, but this chick just like seems kind of annoying. Like she just seems like she'll be combative. I, I have no evidence for this at all. Just like a vibe thing. Everyone has their moments of insecurity, but I wouldn't say I'm insecure overall. All right, all right. Also, let's say your man has money and he goes broke. Do you still support him? Support him how? You know, through thick and thin, no matter what. So if financially, broke, emotionally? Yeah, if he needs you, no matter what, financially, emotionally. If he's my, man, if he's my man, I'm with him. All right. All right, so you guys passed the 45 second mark. All right. Now I'm gonna throw you guys a question, and you both have to answer. All right. Okay. Tell them one thing you you think they like about you. My smile. Or no. Maybe nice smile. What do you think he likes about you? Um, I would say probably my smile and my witty personality. So I would say Daniel was- Yes, men are really always checking out your smile. Eat. Uh, the reason being, I couldn't really see a lot of him just from the waist up, but he seemed to be pretty fit. He had a really nice smile, he had gorgeous eyes, and he was just a nice guy. Well, I do rate her a six. I do think she's a little too skinny for me, but her age and her wisdom kind of like had me want to- Bro, tell it like it is. She's a little too old for you. Talk more about her. Get to know her and stuff. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Damn, nice to meet you. Mallory, nice to meet you. <laughs> Damn, um, I can't believe he nexted this girl right away, but he didn't do the other one. I feel like this girl is way more attractive than the other one. I would say she's super hot, but she's definitely more attractive than the previous one. I would say he's not really like that much of my type, but I would say he's like six or seven on the scale. Girls always do this when they get rejected. They always like try to find a way to backwards rationalize this. Guys do this too. It's like, oh, he's not really my type, but I bet you that if you like actually went on a speed date with her and uh, said something positive about it, it'd be like, yeah, this guy's totally my type. Just a really good looking person, yeah. This one was a mysterious one. She came in with her hair in her face. I wasn't really feeling it. I couldn't tell who she was, so I had to give her another six on the outfit situation. I, I wasn't really feeling her swag. Uh, this, his logic makes no sense. She came in with her hair in her face. Like, what does that even mean? Are you saying that like her face was not visible because she had so much hair? I don't understand. Just be like, yo, she's not my type, whatever. How are you? I'm Kimberly, nice to meet you. So do you like sports? I do not watch sports. I would watch it. <laughs> 
I feel like he was just looking for a reason to like reject her, and he was like, well, I don't want to seem racist for saying I'm not into black chicks. He's like, ah, oh, let me. Are you into sports? No. Bam. Like whatever she said, he would have just hit that button. No. You gotta watch sports with me on Sunday. And the fact that I got buzzed off because I don't watch sports. I mean, I would watch it with a boyfriend if I had one, but I don't think that that should be a big determining factor of whether you're gonna date someone or not. I like her choker. Come on, bro. She's DTF. <sighs> We have a disappointment. We found someone that didn't like sports. I'm about to give her the straight solid five. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm Siri, nice to meet you. Dan, nice to meet you. What's up? Daniel. Daniel, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, so I got some questions for you. All right. I'm a pretty healthy guy, I like to work out and stuff, but on occasion, I really do like to go out and have a really good time. Okay. Is that the type of thing to do as well? Honestly, if I was in a situation where the dynamic is set in my favor so much, I would probably like ask like, borderline perverted questions. I'd be like, what is your biggest turn on? What is the craziest shit that's happened to you? What is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you in bed? Like at this point, it's like, why not? Like, why not just ask some crazy shit since the dynamic is stacked so much in your favor. Plus you see the host is doing it. So it's kind of like socially acceptable. What do I do actually? Perfect. Um, when you go on a first date, do you expect to do something fancy or do you like to lay back and get to know the person? Well, on a first day, I definitely want to see how the vibe is for sure, but I don't think it has to be fancy. I think that- Also, the other day, none of these questions will tell you anything about the girl because they're just going to virtue signal and tell you kind of what you want to hear. I mean, with the exception of like the sports question, if that's really important to you. So instead of like asking logical questions, I would just feel out the girl's vibe. I think you get a much better sense of her personality, whether she's compatible with you that way, rather than like asking her logical questions. Because again, everyone has their guard up. Everyone's going to virtue signal. Do something wholesome and just enjoy each other's company. Like maybe like a drive-in movie. Like first, maybe like a little dinner or lunch just to get to know each other, enjoy, his enjoy each other's company but i don't think a fancy dinner is necessary at the first date do you like a lazy guy no i'm not a lazy person no i like laid back laid back and lazy are different cool, cool. but also like enjoy life yeah, you know like, what i mean yeah more laid back uh, so that's cool past the 45 second mark cool all right now i'm gonna throw a question all right we'll let's go all right um would you have an open relationship yeah i actually believe in open relationships me actually. too actually yeah. like for real yeah, <laughs> if you're confident in each it's other, possible. it's possible. It is definitely to, possible. There's a way to work around it. There's a lot of respect and boundaries you gotta like set up. But if you set up the right respect lines, a hundred percent, I totally agree with that. Love. <laughs> He's really good looking. He has like light eyes. Um, very handsome guy. So definitely my type. And like we were on the same vibe for sure. The I guarantee you, if he said no to her and he instantly rejected her, she would've been like, ah, oh, he's like a six of best. That's I love that. To be honest. Though. Let's see. She's definitely gonna have to get an eight. Our first eight of the day. She's finally getting Wait, what is he talking about? He gave an eight to the first girl. He's like, my first eight of the day. Meanwhile, he gives an eight to the first girl. Very beautiful girl, came with a big smile. Hygiene was on point, outfit was on point. Her energy was there. Bravo. She does have good energy. Yeah, yeah, my name is Morgan. Morgan? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, his looks, he was like a solid eight, but like I never got to talk to him, so I can't really rate him on his personality, but like he was a good looking guy. I want to apologize for the red button so fast. <laughs> She was actually a, a good eight. The way she approached me just had me nervous. I can't even lie. There's something about that aggression approach to the team. The way she approached you had her nervous. She approached you the same way as the other girl. Just say that she's a little too thick for you. Like, you don't like her, like, kind of like chubby arms. Just be honest. I don't know why people virtue signal all the time. It's like, yeah, the way she approached me, it's like, what? How was her approach any different than the previous five girls? That just threw me off and it was very intimidating. Hello. Very intimidating. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I would. All right. So you know what they say, the bigger the O's, the bigger the ho. I got some questions for you. Yes. Um, do you like cats or dogs? Cats or dogs, I kind of like both. That's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, on a typical date, do you expect the man to pay? No. Okay, well, mm -hmm. that one got me by surprise, so I had to freeze up on that. I'm expecting <laughs> something else. Um, what's a first date like to you? Do you expect to have first sex on the first date, or do you like to wait for that? Definitely not. I would love to wait for something like that. Um, first date is... Um, this question is completely pointless. Every girl is going to virtue signal, especially if she knows she's being recorded. Like, more girls going to be like, yeah, I like to get fucked on the first date, right? I've heard this a bazillion times. Like, oh, yeah, I don't really like to have sex until the third date. Meanwhile, like, pretty much every guy who has a good game or is confident or is a chat, she's fucking on the first date. First attraction, first meetup vibes. Mm -hmm. um, do you like sports? There is no way she doesn't fuck on the first date with those massive O's. I like sports, I do. All right, so right. you both passed the 45 second mark. Now, I'm gonna throw a question to you guys and you both have to answer. Uh, do you have an addiction? Mm. Yes, I'm very addicted to smoking. Smoking? Weed, yes. Okay. Suppress. <laughs> She's like, damn, I had the same addiction. Now, do you have an addiction? Um, do I have an addiction? We all have. Yes, we do, <laughs> but um, I wouldn't say something that I can say I can't live without, like I can't stop it. Look, I'm addicted to sucking dick, okay, but not on the first date. If I needed to, or if I just wanted to. Pleasure. Pleasure. Right now, because I don't know, I would say like seven, eight. 
much. <laughs> her style wasn't my cup of tea, but like I said, I feel like her personality might have made her a cool person, so I'm kind of curious to see what her personality has. And that's my six, model number six. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Honest, I didn't really even look at him that long. Probably like, I don't know. Five? Five. Yeah. <laughs> this is a typical, I got rejected, so I'm gonna rate him low. Uh, not really, no. Yeah. So. We're back. <laughs> sloppy hair is a big red flag. I hate sloppy hair. If you have sloppy nails, sloppy hair, sloppy outfit. Sloppy hair, sloppy blowjobs. I mean, like, I don't know. His criteria, everyone's entitled to their own, like, preferences, but he seems to really focus a lot on a girl's hair for a straight guy. Like, this is the last thing that goes through my mind. Like, you guys in the chat can let me know if this is something you guys focus on. I mean, if the hair is, like, really fucked or she doesn't have any hair, obviously that's, like, a massive turnoff. But the hair is, like, a little messy. Like, do you guys care about that? I personally don't give a fuck. It's a big red flag for me, so her hygiene wasn't there. I'm about to give her a five. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Damn, I'm nice to meet you. Diva, nice to meet you. Diva? Yes, Diva. Nice to meet you. Um, so do you date a guy for his heart or his money? For his heart? Like, what do you think she's gonna say here? Um, on a first date, do you expect a man to pay? Um, depends if they ask me out or if I ask them out. Wow, that's actually a really good answer. Um, that's a good answer. Kind of do you pay on the first date or no? I do actually. I actually do believe that's in that. Good. I like to take the girl out. Especially on the first date. It's gonna be and what's your ideal? Like again, you're not gonna get anything with these logical questions. You might as well just have some fun with it and see if the girl has a good sense of humor, you know, whether she's like really standoffish and prude or whether she's willing to engage, like at least in sexual talk. Like you might as well just do that. There's no point in 30 seconds trying to logically get to know your girl. All you're gonna get is just virtue signaling. Um, I like you both past the 45 second mark, so I'm gonna interrupt you. No, it's good. Um, now I'm gonna ask you guys a question and you both have to answer. Okay. All right. Um, Sess, do you like it rough or passionate? <laughs> rough. Both. Oh. The producer is such a perv, he's like, this game boring. Uh, you like get fucked in the ass? You like anal? <laughs> so on a scale of one to 10, I'd probably rate him a nine and a half. Um, he seems very sweet, he's handsome, and he seems like he can have a good conversation. I'm gonna give her a, a seven. She dressed really nice, she was really cute. Um, she looked Latina, I kind of like the Latina crowd. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a nice seven. Hello, how are you? Hey, Lex, it's nice to meet you. Dan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So do you, are you an adrenaline junkie? Do you like to like ride jet skis, dirt bikes? And yeah, I do actually. I live in Fort Lauderdale near Miami, so that's like what I do a lot. Go on fast boats, like go on jet skis. Perfect. I want to go um, skydiving soon. Do you? Yes, actually. My friend's a big time skydiver. Really? So skydiving is definitely something I want to do. Um, also, on a first date, do you like to do something fancy or do you like to lay back and get to know somebody? Um, it's really just like reading the vibes, like mm -hmm. sometimes like go to a really nice dinner, but I like to like chill on the beach or something like that. Just like kick back and relax. You kind of gave me a little bit of both. That's kind of iffy. Iffy. All right, so you both passed the 45 second mark, all right? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw a question out and you both have to answer. Okay. All right, so. I don't know why, but I get the feeling this chick is a fucking freak in bed. I can't prove it, but I, I would stake any amount of money on that. How often do you think about sex? Pretty often, I'm not gonna lie. I knew it! Yeah, I can say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I had to wipe my eyes, I was just cleaning up my eyes. Yeah. You're not a little nervous around me or something? No, okay. just that question was kind of funny. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I kind of got by surprise. How many times a day do you think about that? How many times a day? Like, give you a number? Every hour. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Or something pretty walks by. Okay, um, well, personality wise, probably like an 8.5. He seemed pretty cool. Um, looks like 9.5. But there was something about it that said chill and. Oh, look, one thing I will give the black pillars is there's definitely an element of like pretty privilege or like a halo effect, right? So if you're a good looking guy, like girls will probably like upgrade your personality, but it's to a limit, right? Like if this guy was like super creepy or super weird, right? He wouldn't be able, he wouldn't get like an 8.5 when it comes to his personality. But yeah, it, it does, I don't know if it's like 25% or 50%, but there's some element of that that applies so if you're a guy who's very physically unattractive then you have to overcompensate by having really really good social skills she looks like she knew how to cuddle if you know what i mean so i'm gonna go ahead and give her a seven all right so this is round two okay so this time if you don't like the girl you remember all the girls that went through this is gonna be really interesting to see who wins it's not someone that i expected i'll just put it that way yeah. you have one that you like pretty much okay so if you see if you see one come in you don't like her just buzz her because as soon as you let one girl pass that's a girl you're gonna date. Okay. Ooh. So you gotta remember who it is. You have your top one? Yes, I do. I got it. Aha. Hello, how are you? Oh, man. How are you doing again? Good, good. good. All right, so I have one question for you guys. Um, I don't know why, but this is like my least favorite girl out of the bunch. Maybe it's not fair. Maybe she's like the greatest person ever, but she seems like kind of, I don't know, the vibe I get from her is like very stuck up, kind of like Karen-ish. You guys in the chat can let me know if you feel that way too. Uh, I don't know, it's just the vibe I get. I'm a 10. I'm an 11. 
<laughs> this was the best moment. He's like, cap. All right, so this time I'm gonna throw a question and you both have to answer. What kind of porn do you watch? I like hardcore, you know, the, the, the hardcore side. But like classy with high definition. I like very high definition. <laughs> I want to be able to see the sploosh molecules that are coming out of the guy's cock. I want to be able to see them in HD, high definition. On video, I, I like the high quality shit. Yeah, I agree on the high quality point of view. I don't like that rustic look. Not mm -hmm. my favorite. Yeah. So, that's a great pick. Is this the one? Is this the one? Um, no, five seconds, five. Oh. I'm sorry. Can we meet again? Yeah, I'm back. Oh, I want to know why he denied her. I mean, I think he just, he has a type. He just has a girl he's most physically attracted to. He's just waiting for that one. This time I'm going to throw a question, and it's, what are your biggest turnoffs? Um, my biggest turnoffs, especially for like- Like the questions that the, uh, the host is asking are the questions that I would be asking if I was in this uh, Chad's shoes. Eating dinner, like really poor, like table etiquette. <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, is that a turn off for him that she has, she doesn't like poor etiquette? That's literally every single girl. It's like up there with being rude to the waiter. Like, is he like, oh fuck, I'm a really fucking eater. And look, I'm a messy eater. So I, I understand how that can be frustrating when girls are like turn off by that. But it's just fucking human nature. Like, yeah, girls don't like it when you're a really fucking messy eater and you're like a caveman. You're like fucking just getting fucking kale everywhere and shit. How long has he gone without sex? I think this chick is the hottest one out of the bunch. A month. A month, yeah. Seriously, same. Same answer. You're fucking like, no, 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 no,